Taxpayers are paying billions for our country's crumbling infrastructure. On tonight's Mixed Plate, young engineers hope to lessen the tax burden with bridges over untroubled waters. Six weeks of work down the bucket. This bridge from Hawaii Mission Academy withstood 123 pounds of sand before collapsing. <laughs> the students from Highlands Intermediate fared better with 265 pounds. Fourteen teams from eight schools submitted their spans to the sand test in the fifth annual Popsicle Stick Bridge Contest. The only materials they can use are 500 Popsicle Sticks and Elmer's glue all. Put the sand into the bucket as quickly as they want to or as slowly as they want to. And it's really exciting to see them do that. You see that apprehension in their faces. We came together after school and we worked together to build a bridge and we have high hopes for it. About how many pounds do you think it can hold? 120. 44.3, actually. I think it will hold up like 100, 125 pounds. 123, actually. The team from Kaimiki Christian School waited the longest before hearing the first crack. After 15 minutes, they ran out of sand. When building, we cut sticks at a 45 degree angle and we layered them. It's like stacking them like bricks. So we believe that because the, there are like pretty much little gaps or no gaps or pockets, then I think that's why it's holding up. And then they ran out of weights. 445 pounds on this bridge before they called it quits. It buckled and it bent, but it never broke. That's mixed plate. And the kids from Kaimiki Christian Church, they each win an iPod.